this happens again and, and what we could do a little bit better to try to save that cap. So he must have damaged it pretty good uh, for it to be that white. Also, got an announcement to make. I'm excited about. Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Cross Thermos Bison. Welcome back to our channel. I've never seen uh, Bison get so excited to see a hay bale in September. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a proud thing that you have to put out hay um, in September. But here we are, got a fresh bale of hay. Probably bailed maybe two months ago. Some uh, prairie hay, whatnot. Yep, that's what we're doing. We're putting out some hay to the big joe herd right here i know you guys probably have some questions and want to know how the canada which is a wolverine bison uh, mama how's she doing and kind of what's her status after losing the calf that we tried to rescue and uh, since then i've had a lot of good comments i've had really good emails and some good go. phone calls actually from current bison producers it's been uh, very heartfelt and very uh, caring from lots of people and got a lot of good feedback on some ideas of how, maybe how to handle the situation and, and uh, next time if this happens again and, and what we could do a little bit better to try to save that calf. Um, but for our first time, we did what we could and, and unfortunately, I think we just showed up a little bit late. If we'd have been there maybe an hour or two before, we may have had a higher chance, but after talking to some people, um, I think there's some new approaches that we can take maybe next time if that happens. So uh, with that, Big Joe's going to knock this bill of hay into pieces. All ready? You going to destroy it for me or not? It's like, no, I'm going to eat some first. 32 cal. When are you going to pop? Hey, buddy. Got some hay on your head. Looking dark, fella. little heifer if you guys are wondering where our heifer is this is what i did the next day um take a look here calf in there with her i gave her a day to mourn i did that with bell star i left the calf yeah matter of fact in this pasture if you guys are wondering how bell star is doing where is she uh moseying around here somewhere she's out here in this pasture oh she's right here in front of me there's bell star you guys remember her you can she has a unique uh some unique facial features beautiful head and whatnot but um bell star here is uh the one that was the first one that i'd, I'd ever lost a calf to uh, this was her right here. I left I left the calf in here uh, then a uh, whole day let her mourn right here next to her Is our Wolverine bison mama. She was a mama for a little bit, but um 
So what I did was I, I got her out and uh, the closest pasture or the closest herd um, was the big Joe herd. And so that's why she's in here. She's been in here with them. And it was going to be kind of difficult for me to take her all the way to the Dunbar herd. Um, so I've left her in here. And if she comes in heat, the big guy here can do his thing. No big deal if she breeds with Dunbar or Haas. She obviously bred to Haas. Um, and he was, you know, uh, mature enough to do his thing. Um, so... But uh, it's okay where she's at right now, and she's been in here uh, since then. She's been doing good. We just, you know, as long as she has some company, uh, she's okay. Hey, will you, uh, will you move so I can get that, please? I really need to get that wrap, if you don't mind, Big Joe. <sighs> okay. Oh, there's our princess. Eleanor. Goofy girl. Well, hang out inside here because they kept getting a little bit close to me. But, um, yep, rolling out our first bell of hay. Well, I've been rolling out some. I rolled out some old hay, but rolling out uh, a fresh this year bell. And they're uh, getting after it because drought but today first rain that we've had since early july i mean like july 6 i think was the last full actual real rain we had where the ground was actually wet i don't know how much we got doesn't matter it's in the 60s I'm just happy we got rain so that's a start need a lot more the whole state of oklahoma needs a lot more but uh, they need some hay. So we do this and we do cubes every day is what we've been doing. Just about. So now I can't just leave it here. I got to roll it out. And um, because they, you can see there's a, there's a bunch of them that'll stand around and won't have access to it. Uh, because the bosses, which is this guy and her, 32, won't let anybody come up here and eat until they get their fair share maybe a calf calf gets lucky little red dog um so other than that they'll all stand around here until they get their opportunity but that's why we're gonna roll it out real quick uh just to give you a little update on uh how the ponderosa addition i guess that's what you call it is going we've uh been working on the lateral lines part of the sewage system we've got a we had to set a uh, we set a tank over here it just right outside of our corral, basically right here at the edge of the corral. We've got our septic tank set. These are gonna work on our lateral lines here and then all the way out, way past Cora. We'll run another lateral line out. And this here, this goes all the way back to the drain comes out of uh, the west side kitchen will set right in there uh, utility room and then bathrooms on the other side so this is the main uh, drain line Core, what are you doing girl nope. I watch these holes now with the soil we have it's kind of hard to really perk but it did perk enough because we had the state um, DEQ come in look at it and make sure we were good to go um brian anderson and plumber's been helping me on this project a bunch but uh we got these things instead of laying rock setting the pipe these are your lateral lines and uh this is something he said you don't have to do the rock you don't have to do the pipe you just click these together and you just lay them out and then you cover them back up so i'm setting all these out there's another row right here next to me right over here i just laid out so that's 125 foot a lateral lines, 150 foot, 275 total is what we had to get according to the state. Anderson rented us a backhoe and uh, helped dig our trench here so we could get these filled. And I'm just going through and laying all these out so we can get accepted, passed. We can cover them back up with the skid steer and uh, then we'll have the big part of the Ponderosa project done. Meanwhile, the inside is going on 
it's uh, we've had an electrician here same plumber uh let's just say drywall is going up soon which if you know if drywall is going up soon then we're getting very close i'm sorry it's been a while giving an update on everything we've been busy we've had a very busy summer and uh lots of first time things happening at the ranch so uh i just want to give you an update out here at the ponderosa barn and how everything's going there Dunbar's eyes looking a whole lot better. He, uh, he's lost some weight for sure. Looks a lot different than when he first came in here. But uh, that's because he's been busy. There's 23 females in here, I believe. And plus he's been having a run hoss off quite a bit. But um, they're excited for cubes right now. But uh, his eye is looking a lot better. The white part of his eye has been shrinking. And it's gotten smaller and smaller, uh, which is good. And we check him on a daily basis. So every time uh, that we come out here, we take a look at him and make sure that he's doing okay. We're going to continue to monitor him and make sure that he's doing okay and that it still continues to shrink. I talked to Doc again the other day, and uh, he said we shouldn't have to uh, dart him again with some more Draxon. Uh, the fact that it's it's a uh, healing showing signs of healing anyways so he must have damaged it pretty good uh for it to be that white got Dunbar looking better which is exciting makes me feel a little bit better that he's uh he's doing good you know he's kind of a he's kind of my baby you know he's a big baby you know he's their first bull and then he's our breed bull he's been busy the past couple of months went through the big joe drama and now you know in with a new herd he's doing good but any damages his eye so you gotta take care of a big guy I'm glad he's better showing signs of getting better we'll keep, we'll keep you guys updated with him also since we visited dunbar herd i want to let you guys know that the day after we darted dunbar speaking of the day after we darted him um marissa spotted this short dart so thank you all for the good advice on trying to find the dart um but we found it literally the next day in close to the area we were looking for but marissa spotted it i'm glad we got it out of the pasture We'll go visit the Texas cow again soon and check on her. And then, um, yeah, a lot of projects going on here. As you can see, we've got uh, a view from the window. We've got glass doors right here so you can look out and see. Well, there's no bison right now in this pasture. In pasture one, there's some more of the dirt work uh, left from the septic tank and whatnot. But exciting, ha exciting stuff happening around here. Also, got an announcement to make. I'm excited about, as part of the Oklahoma Bison Association, it's been three years since we've had a sale. We are having a bison sale. And I'm very excited about this one because it is in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, at the state fairgrounds. A very nice, awesome facility. I'm excited about, very excited about. So we've been working with the members of the Oklahoma Bison Association and myself um, as a member uh, to get this thing going and uh, put it down in the calendars. And it's a public event too. December 16th, 2023. Yes, this December is going to be one of the last sales of 2023 for bison. And it'll be held at the state fairgrounds in Barn 3. I'll give you more details. I'll put it out on some other of my other social media channels. Uh, but December 16th, Oklahoma Bison Association sale. You guys can come see it. Doors will be open on Friday. 
um, and then a sale will be Saturday at about 11 o'clock. And so that's open to the public and you can come and actually watch and see how it all goes down and see some really awesome animals. But I'm excited to get it back to Oklahoma. Silky. Thank you, sir. Excited to get it back to Oklahoma and get it rocking and rolling again. And um, just want to let you guys know I'll keep you updated on it. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you guys soon.